Hey guys, going live here in Santa Clarita, California, and I'm with colorist Eric McLean. And I thought I'd do a live stream, um, just not only to show off where we are, but if somebody has a question or just wants to talk, they have an opportunity. So I'm gonna let this run a little bit and show you around while people are coming in. Um, in the background, we've got so far away the mountain range, you can't really see with this wide angle lens. But uh, let me show you some other things. So here is where we are in Santa Clarita, um, mountain range studio. This is Eric McLean. He's a colorist. He's been coloring for going on 25, 26 years now. Started off in Henniger Capital down in Washington, D.C. and moved out to California. But I mean, hey, you tell me a little bit about how you got started, too, because, you know. Oh, yeah. well, I got started uh, as a, actually as a, Telecine assistant at Henniger Video in Washington, D.C. when they were located in Georgetown. Um, we were shooting a lot of uh, short films and music videos on film back then. And I would bring in the process film and have it, try to have it telecine uh, by the colorist there. And they would get so backed up, they kind of let me do it myself. Yeah. So that's when I started color grading stuff myself. And they say, hey, that looks pretty good. You want to come and start working in telecine? Yeah. And that was uh, over about 25 years ago. Right. And uh, and I've been doing it ever since. Yep. And then he came out to California and started working with a couple of the big studios out here and uh, doing the color grade thing. And real quick before we go back into the actual studio, because I'm still waiting for people to come in, I just wanted to point out once again that right over there, before it gets too dark, is where uh, Fast and the Furious star Paul Walker was killed in that car accident. Let's see if I can tune in real quick. And hit that light pole like right there so we're right here at that spot and this is the studio so we're gonna go inside and get hopping back on this uh, mega test so far we've got some really great results I mean astounding actually some of the stuff we're finding out about the cameras as far as color shifting and uh, some of the noise and really how, how much work you have to put in on each camera to really get, bring it back this is uh, the first level of uh, the studio, which also, you know, has a little green screen room as well. Uh, that'll take a while to fire up, but yeah. And then we're gonna go up to the color suite. Yep. Show us the way, Eric. This uh, is your place. This is right upstairs. <laughs> okay. Right up. Arena Studios now, uh, formerly Awesome Town Studios. Yeah. Currently Arena Studios, and uh, right now that's where I have my color day. Oh, uh, it's me in the glass. Hi, guys. So we're walking in. We've been pretty much grading since this morning, and we'll have this footage ready probably mid-Feb. But we're also going to have on the first the actual camera test with the footage will be coming out February 1st and then the actual color grade will be the next chapter so in here recording this session and we had just finished all the overexposure stuff we were about to hop on the underexposure stuff but we're gonna actually show you show you a little bit of just regular color grading so if you have any questions you can ask the colors all right. yeah. and uh, you're gonna hop off to something else yeah. to uh, pull up but uh, this is the latest DaVinci uh, update, which is uh, 12.5.4. And uh, this is what we've got so far. That actually is the, is that the red? I can't even read the screen. That is the Ursa. That's the Ursa, okay. That's the Ursa underexposed one stop. Two stops. Two stops, okay, two stops, yep. And uh, this is some other stuff being pulled up. This is a music video for, uh, who was it for, uh, Veronica Vega. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this is some stuff, uh,
Yeah, I see Cy Young is signed on and he's also sharing the video. Thanks, Cy. Got John Holmes. Hey, cool. Hey, John, what's up? And we also have Darren Warhol. That's awesome. Hey, Darren, what's up, man? So, uh, this is uh, some, some movie stuff he's working on. Yeah, this is uh, for a trailer I did called uh, Arden's Fury for Asylum Pictures. Mm -hmm. and, uh, so, what did you do here? Well, I started, this is uh, originally a red shot. This is how it comes up. Um, this native uh, look here. And let's see, I've added quite a few, let's see, quite a few things here. Let's see, I did a contrast and uh, color balance to make it really army green and then I pull some of the contrast back yeah and then added uh, the vignettes or some windows to give us some color around the uh, edges to warm it back up and uh, this is how it comes out yeah yeah it's pretty cool we also got Bart Johnson. Hey Bart, glad to see you pop in. Bart was on board on day one. He also did the BTS for the Cinema Camera Mega Challenge, which was Mega Test, which was great. Well, we got something here for Beyonce, hey? Oh yeah, the Beyonce video. This was shot red, um, and I uh, just made it look good, actually. Just did a basic uh, contrast and saturation um, and some did some softening and uh, just made it look good. Yeah, Mitch Marvel, hey man. Computers are the future, they are. So, as again, this is Ask a Colorist. So if you have any questions, ask a colorist. <laughs> now I realized that, you know, there's only six people on right now. Hopefully some more will pop on before we sign off because after we sign off, well, you can't ask a colorist because it'll be after the fact. You can still ask, but we may be a little more delayed on responding. What's this sci-fi stuff you got here? Yeah, this is from a movie. Uh, uh, what is the name of this movie? Uh, I this, this much stuff. It's Telios. 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 Independent film. Yeah. It actually got a write-up uh, about the color. Uh, yeah. So you got a write-up, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really like this shot here. So Show them the shot that he, they really like. Uh, so it's the same thing. Um, what did I do? Oh yeah, I had to isolate the uh, planet there. Added some blue. And um, yeah. Made it look good. Uh, Daryl's asking what camera? This was with the Ari. Oh, Ari Alexa. Okay, this was Alexa. Yep, and it's not raw. It's uh, just Alexa log. Log Alexa here. Yeah, so that's before and after. Cool. I'm going to go up to the bigger screen where it's a little, a little more colored. Yep. So, still in the process of color grading. This is kind of a break because uh, we just went eight hours doing all the overexposed shots. It went all the way up plus like six stops over. So, that was a, a long process. That was like 36 takes. Um, and now we're going to hop back into the uh, underexposed now. But, uh, uh, Daryl's asking, uh, did they have what? Uh, yeah, just just the basic uh, uh, Airy Log C, the Rec 709 LUT. But, um, yeah, so that's just your basic LUT. Okay. Are you guys hearing okay? Because I know my hand kind of gets over the mic, so I hope everybody's hearing okay. So anyway, let's swap back to the other camera.
So I don't want to, you know, color grading is a pretty boring thing to watch. <laughs> and I'll have to be entertaining like a comedian, and I'm not a comedian. So um, okay, we're going to be returning back to our uh, underexposure grading in just a second. Unless you got okay. something else you want to show off real quick. Uh, I know that you have liked this shot. Yeah, I do like that shot. Yeah. Especially from where it came from. This came from a television show, J.J. Uh, Abrams produced show called Alcatraz that's no longer on the air. But this was, um, let's see, what year was that? Well, actually, when I said where it came from, I didn't mean the background, although that was a great story. I meant from the native image, you know, how you uh, built that up that. also uh, Alexa, if I'm not mistaken. Let me uh, double check. I'll be able to tell you in a second. Yeah. Find it. And just the, the, the actual yeah. file out the camera just was very basic like this. Yeah. And you really were able to go in there and power under it up. And yeah, I had a lot of fun with that shot. I had a lot of some of shots that you can sink your teeth into. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so this was shot in 2011. And this is, uh, yeah, this is Alexa, I believe. This was just regular HD. Um, oh, wait, am, am I, is this, was this Alexa? Uh, yeah, Dave Stockton, uh, ASC, directed by Danny Cannon. Uh, Alcatraz. I think this was Alexa, 2011, or was it um, was the other camera they were using back then? Uh, let me pop this in. Well, when it comes to you, have that that memory, you can tell yeah. us. But for now, right. Show what you did. Okay. Uh, let's just do this here. And, uh, My hand is trembling. I've been working too hard. <laughs> With sugar, hold this camera a little bit steady. It's been a lot of that for like eight hours. Right. So, you know, it gets boring. But we're gonna make it exciting when it comes out. So, you know, don't worry about it being boring. That's my job. Okay, okay here we go. So wait, what are, we, what are we doing? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna just pop it in the timeline. Okay. Hey, I got a like from Christina. Hey, Christina. I don't know who's still on. I feel like we're losing people because Eric's being too slow. But it's cool. You guys can always watch it later. <laughs> right. Because you can't wait. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I know. It's color grading. Yeah, color grading is a little process. But anyway, he took this stale, bland, beautiful image. Don't get me wrong. It's gorgeous. I mean, you got the rays with the fog and everything. But he just colorized the mess out of it and it looked great. So. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Know. That's cool. We see the we see the beginning. Let's show the after, and then we can hop back into it. Cause okay, we run a little steam. We gotta get this done ourselves. Yes, yeah, so that's the that's the after. That's just a beautiful after. Yeah. Yeah. Or after. Yeah. All right. So hopping back to. Uh, yeah. I don't know who's still on. Um, I'll, I dropped down to two people, but I'll let it run a little longer uh, until uh. I'll let it run a little longer until uh, you know, we really get back into. The grind of things. I gotta sit this down so I take my coat off. I'm gonna set you right here. Good, that's good. I'm gonna take off my coat. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fire up the cameras again and get them going so we can start our recording. Um, get this camera going. This camera's got the uh, Shot of Eric. Oh, got the wrong vantage. This one is uh, him right there, and it's rolling. So then we're gonna go over to our background camera, which is the Ursa.
we're gonna power this one up. And this is our wide shot. And I'm gonna roll this one. We don't have our mics plugged back in yet, but we're gonna do that. The thing I love about this shot is I'm able to punch in on the edit and get a close-up of this screen, this screen, and this screen for our wide shot. And cut back to our master wide and get everything, so that's really cool. Ugh. All right, he's got his mic back in. Get my mic back on too. All right, so we're getting back into the, we've come off the ask a colors to question. You can rewind. And uh, we're gonna jump back into the actual video that we came here to do. We're on the underexposed now. So we're gonna hop into seeing how all of the cameras handled from the Red Dragon to the Ursa 4.6, Sony F5, Sony FS5, Sony FS7 and Canon C300. And this is the two-stop under. Right. So which camera is this? I just give you guys a sneak peek. Which camera is this? Ursa. Okay. This. Oh, this is the Ursa, and this is two-stop two stops under. under. Right. Graded. Graded. Right. Um, um, that's two stops under, ungraded. Right. Yeah. Right. And we don't want to reveal everything, so uh, we don't want to share everything with you guys yet. That's what you got to tune in for later. But that's what we're doing for now. This ask a color is the question, and uh, yeah, any other questions? That's last chance, Aaron C. E. Smith. I see you popped in. Um, otherwise, we're gonna get back to work and uh, just wait till uh, February 1st to see the results. It's been a long process, but we got three videos coming out. The first one is going to be uh, pretty much all the footage running, uh, overexposure going in. Uh, now we've cut it down to one stop increments going up one stop you know, all the way up to possibly six stops. And then we're gonna go down two stops, which will be two stops under, um, and then four stops under. And then that's for all the cameras. And then the next video that comes out is gonna actually be this, which we're doing now, getting into the color science behind it. And that's gonna be really interesting because we really found some amazing things about these cameras that surprised both of us. Um, and some things that some people are gonna love to hear about the camera, and some things people may not like about the camera. Um, and then, of course, the third video, which will come out at the end of February, is going to be a group discussion, a panel discussion. We're going to get some of the industry experts in the area to come by in the theater and sit down and watch all this footage in 4K and give their feedback on what they think and how they felt about it and their thoughts about their camera. So keep your breath. Stay tuned. Thanks for tuning in. Now we're going to get back to work. All right, guys. Take care.